Hello, so I'm here with uh, Hella, my client. How are you? Hi, I'm really well, thank you. All the way from rainy London. <laughs> it's cold, it snowed yesterday, so. Yeah. Oh, it snowed, wow. Yeah, it's freezing. It's, I'm so looking forward to the spring. Yeah. But thank you for so, having me. Yeah, Ella, what, like, introduce yourself. What do you do? What specifically you do with uh, your clients in your business? Mm -hmm. So I'm a kinesiologist and I'm a nutritionist. Um, my work is evolving very quickly. So I was, uh, I, I'm a registered gut health practitioner and I was using this knowledge to work with children and families with autism, anxiety, depression, and adults as well with uh, anxiety and depression to work on their gut health to reduce their mental health issues. Um, I now, I, f I focus mainly on anxiety and depression, but I do work a lot with, as everything is connected, I work a lot with purpose, clarity, confidence, um, but, Inside that, I, I work with people's uh, physical gut health symptoms as well. Awesome. So, what was it like working in your business in your life uh, before we were starting working together? Everything. <laughs> um, I, when I first started working with Elisa, I was confused about my services, confused about my life i was in a relationship or i was just in the in the initial stages of a breakup with my husband uh i was living in an area that i didn't really connect with i couldn't connect with my work anymore and there was no real focus um and i just felt confused about where my gifts were and what my purpose was and what my what my service was and i just couldn't connect with it so i felt like i was kind of doing something automatically without there really being any soul behind it. Mm -hmm. um, and I wasn't really earning very much money. I was tired all the time. And yeah, I just wasn't, I wasn't connecting to my own life, let's say. So, yeah. And so why did you decide, uh, you know, to, contact me to start working together what called you well i i knew i wanted to work with a mentor um and i'd been kind of trawling the online space and you really stood out to me i think just your energy your your energy of there was no kind of ego mm -hmm. I would say that was the main thing that was kind of I trust you I trusted you and the things that you say really really helpful um, but you were really also really approachable and so when I when I contacted you and you just you gave me kind of really accessible reasonable program that I could join um, and I came to meet you in Barcelona and everything felt really good everything felt really supported you know no crazy prices but just really really good value and i had access to you as a real person which was amazing so many you know so many people like i'll oh, just join my online program and it's everything's automated yeah. and you don't feel that connection or exchange um and you i just felt like i was in your world and you really understood me um yeah and i just and I, I, what I got from you is that you would never promise something that you couldn't deliver. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So our first like uh, experience we were remembering now, you came to Barcelona for a VIP retreat. Mm -hmm. So how was this uh, experience? What opened up for you? What changed? Oh, it was amazing. Um, I think th there... I really started I really started trusting that life could be good for me you know because I think up until then I you know I was in an unhappy relationship and you know whilst I love my kids I was kind of an overworked overtired mum who was trying to run her own business 
and I was used to working from the operating from the level of stress. Um, and I kind of had the subconscious belief that it had to be stressful in order for it to be of value or for me to deserve it even. So what I got, you know, being with you, seeing you being so productive, but just relaxed, yeah. <laughs> you know, like this big smile on your face, you know, and I was just kind of a bit in awe of kind of how you could operate and run such a successful business and it be so fun. So I was telling somebody the other day, a lot of the value I've got from working with you is not necessarily just about what you've taught me, but also kind of role modeling, you know, how, how, how business and life can be, you know, and when people look at you and they're like, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So yes. And it was just such a fun, lovely weekend and a, a great way to kickstart learning about gene keys and working with you so yeah and then you see you know we was we were saying before we talk about you know creating more more money more wealth uh, to your business uh, and uh, i told you like you, we, you have to learn to expand uh, your capacity to you know receive those money and all the the frequency of money mm. so what like what were uh, after this experience and you know the time working together what has been the results in terms of money love health mm. well-being so yeah so then at that point i remember thinking you know having a ten thousand pound a month is totally outside the realm of my possibility and i i couldn't see how that could happen um and I remember you just kind of confidently looking at me saying, you know, it's just about ca calibrating your frequency to receive it. And I just took that on. And then this month, February, so not even a year later, this month I was paid in total... Thirty-six thousand pounds. Wow! Um, and when I saw it, I was kind of like, "Yes," you know. And I didn't yeah. freak out. <laughs> I didn't freak out, and you know, and I really feel this sense of kind of just expansion and just embodiment and trust and gratitude, you know. And I keep just keep remembering to kind of stay in the frequency of that, you know, just gratitude and just this unconditional sense of kind of that everything is good and everything is okay and everything's working out for my benefit, you know, and that's a completely 180 on before when I was trying to force things and worried about things and, you know, kind of not really trusting things, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, and the funny thing is, it's not about the money now. And I recognize, you know, it could be 35,000 pounds and it could be 135,000 pounds or it could just be 3,000 pounds, but it's all about my energy and all about, you know, the frequency that I'm, with which I'm turning up in. And, and that, that for me is the most enjoyable shift mm. that I'm kind of, you know, I can relate to everybody that I meet. People come up to me on the street and they're like, there's something about you, yeah. you know? what is it about you? You've got something about you. And I'm like, and I, cause I'm just constantly feeling just really constantly aware of my energy. And that, that's, I found my dream man. He's just proposed to me, you know, it's like my life is just working out for me. It kind of, for my highest good. And it's kind of, when I have moments of actually stopping to think about it, it can blow my mind a little bit. But then when I, embody down into kind of my sacral that we've been learning about mm -hmm. it just feels so good you know it just feels so good and my like I just keep thinking you know how much better could life get but it's like let's see you know um and it I think before the, and a big change from from before is if good things happened to me I'd get an anxiety yeah. that it wouldn't last or that it would that you know it might not last or it might it might go away and it would kind of cause anxiety in me and so therefore I was kind of keeping myself in a negative loop to, to avoid that fear of it not lasting if that yes. makes sense yes totally 
but you know worked on all my subconscious beliefs and calibrating my frequency you know and it's I just feel like I'm living proof of kind of this stuff works yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like uh, you know you are obviously an amazing um, kinesiologist and nutritionist and coach but some like you also explore a new fa facet of you of being a model while we were yeah. we start working together how did yeah. it happen um so i <laughs> i know you're i know the people who are watching your videos aren't gonna think this is crazy but other people yeah. might think this is crazy i was one day so i was in this practice of tuning into the energy in my sacral and just becoming a frequency of gratitude and just thinking, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, you know, really lifting up my energy. And I needed that at that point in my life a lot because I was going through a really messy divorce and I would wake up with panic attacks and anxiety, you know, and I, and I just thought to myself, I've got a choice and I can either go down that route or I can just really be ruthless and, about my energy. And so I just decided to focus on my energy. And so it, when in the kind of the middle of that, I decided to take my, my ex-partner to try and get him back to a festival. And I, you know, we were walking around and somebody just tapped me on the shoulder. Um, in fact, it was in this moment, my ex was telling everybody, oh, she's about me. She's terrible at housework. She's terrible at washing up. She's terrible at this and like laughing at me and stuff. And stupidly, I still wanted him back then. And in, the, and in the middle of that, this woman came up and said, I'm really sorry to interrupt you, but and turned to me, I'm going to give you my card. And I think I'm a talent agent. And I think that you, we could get you a lot of work. And I was like, you know, I, I, had, I had no confidence at all. And I put her card in my pocket and I didn't touch it for like six months because I just thought I didn't want to waste her time. I didn't believe in myself. What if I failed, you know? But it was still an amazing thing. And my sister, she just kicked me up the ass and she just said, you have to phone them. Um, Cause I was worried about not being able to pay the mortgage. And two months after signing the contract, I got this big Volvo deal, uh, which was this big payment I've just received, you know? So, and you, you, never traveled, know. you traveled the world, uh... You know, I went to South Africa, I stayed in five star hotels, I made loads of friends, I saw the most beautiful places in South Africa, I ate the most amazing food. And like my old paradigm voice is like, you're not allowed to have this, it's not allowed to be this good. And I kind of just recognize it and thank yeah. it for reminding me where I've come from. <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, and I remember when when I was going through my casting um, and I, I was going to, so I was going to each casting and at the same time I was doing calls with you to help me kind of manifest it. And so I think you pulled me a card and it said, you need to be more playful in your work. And there's a picture of a dolphin. And when I went to my casting, the, the company's motto is work play. Mm. And I was like, I'm going to get this. <laughs> and, and so I just like before every casting, I just kind of imagined a dolphin and feeling as playful as a dolphin. Um, yeah. And then going to South Africa and there being dolphins everywhere. And, you know, we all were given caps that said work play on them on it. Wow. And I was just like, yeah, this isn't this, you know, I just love those synchronicities. Mm hmm. And, uh, you know, I remember that we had the session and then I told you, like, you have to f be in the energy of celebration. Yeah. Even if you didn't get the, at the job. Yeah. And you were like, oh, no, no. I mean, this sounds strange. <laughs> but then you did it. Like, I told you, post on Facebook, celebrate it. Uh, and then. Yeah. yeah. You told me that to, to celebrate it on Facebook before it happened. And I was like, but what will everyone say? They'll think that I'm boasting, you know, and that's the fearful side of me. Um, but yeah, yeah, everything that you worked with me through, I really, 
when I was in South Africa, I was remembering our sessions and I was just, you know, just being so grateful that I was open to it. So, mm. yeah. And um, in terms of like your business, your services, uh, what shifted? Um, so, my, I used to do, what's shifted mainly and fundamentally is a knowing that I can serve best when I'm clear about who I am, who I'm serving and how I, how I, how I function best or how I can serve best. And we've learned about, I've learned about that through doing my gene keys with you. And so before, you know, I tried like an online program, I tried doing just ad hoc clinic sessions. Um, and I always felt like I was being stretched too much and I was just trying to please everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and then so after discovering that the best way that I work is through mentoring people um, and teaching. Um, and weirdly, I went to uni to become a teacher. I've always loved teaching and the role of teaching. Mm -hmm. There's two things that have shifted fundamentally. So I, I no longer do online programs or anything like that. I just do a three month, I have limited availability basically. And I have kind of a space for five people every 12 weeks. So they, I, I hold this container for them and it's really holistic. And I, it's like health coaching. Well, it is health coaching mm -hmm. and I, I give them, they get an infrared sauna. Um, I show them techniques and tools about how to look after their, their body fundamentally. Um, behave like routines, behavior shifts, conscious shifts, um, nutrition and diet. So every level of their being is supported, but it's not all the information on them yeah. like that. We work through it together incrementally. Um, and that feels really good because I really like holding their hand and showing them the way. Um, and I work with people who, you know, they come to me and their, their health is terrible and they eat badly and they have very high anxiety. So the shifts that happen are really amazing and it really, we're all celebrating basically mm. when, you know, through this work. The second shift that's happened is that I've been asked to write a course for a, a well on a well-being unit for people leaving the army. Mm. Um, and they have trauma and they don't know how to integrate into society. <clears throat> so somebody's asked me to write a course that's accredited and deliver it on trauma, the central nervous system, gut health, but also energy psychology, mm. which is really exciting. So the universe is naturally pulling me in the direction of teaching people. So that's nice. And you also have been published in magazine lately. <clears throat> yeah, I've been, yesterday my article came out um, in a magazine called O. Um, I recommend everybody gets it because it's, yes. it's for, it's, it's for successful women and it's all about um, reconnecting back to themselves and nature and um, it's, it's a really beautiful magazine. And it was a dream of mine because the woman who's an, the editor of this magazine, she's an editor for Psychologies. Mm -hmm. And Psychologies is one of my favorite magazines. And it was always a dream of mine for her to kind of acknowledge my work. And it was always a dream of mine to write. Um, but having children, I just kind of forgot my, ta forgot my talents and forgot my passions. Um, and so I just wrote to her and just said, I have a story, would you like to hear it? And so I gave her a synopsis and she said, yeah, we'll commission you to write your story. So um, that's amazing. And so now I've decided to enroll on a storytelling course because I feel that sharing my story is really important. So yeah, one foot in front of the other and you know, it's kind of, things are just unfolding really beautifully. Awesome, that's amazing. So what would you say to someone who is like considering working with me on the fence? Uh... I would say, 
I would say the benefits that you receive are beyond what you can expect. So trust your gut, you know, and if you're looking for somebody who will tell you the truth, you know, and be really clear on her, you know, intuition and wisdom, but also really experienced, you know, yeah, I would say that out of, I've, I've signed up to lots of things and I've paid lots of people and I've often come away feeling with other people. I've often come away feeling they didn't quite understand me or they didn't spend their time connecting with me or they didn't really care. And actually it's the opposite with you. I always feel like whenever we're in a session, you're very, you know, focused and concentrated. You always remember everything I say. I always wonder if you've got a magic superpower or, (laughs) um, you know, but you have, you just, it's a really amazing combination of being really personable, but really professional. Mm. Thank you. So thank you so much, Ella, for being here, for sharing your experience and your stories, where people can find you and know more about your work. So my website is www.fullspectrumhealth.work, W-O-R-K. Um, and I'm on Instagram at Full Spectrum Health with Ella. Um, I'm based in South London in Belgravia. So uh, Victoria, I have a clinic there and you can connect with me online and I do online sessions as well. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.